Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we finally get to do a follow-up on that Florida woman we covered in a video last year. You know what I'm talking about. That Florida woman who became famous after she got pregnant and announced she was going to be raising her new baby with her four boyfriends simultaneously. That's right, this five-way couple got the world's attention last December when the story broke and they got promoted in the press for it. And back then we already had plenty of bones to pick with their situation. Basically, as I went over in my original video, which I linked below if you want to catch up, but essentially, this so-called polyamorous family, well, they were just one in a long line of weird, strange, and somewhat degenerate lifestyles that the left keeps pushing in the mainstream media. For example, the original video about this five-way couple came from a YouTube channel that was then called Barcroft TV at the time. They've since rebranded and changed their name to Truly for some reason. I guess that they want to be some kind of BuzzFeed spinoff now, but nevertheless, Barcroft slash Truly are still producing the same strange relationship pushing kind of content and want to be progressive stuff too, which includes this video about the Florida five-way family in question. But the funny thing is about that, well, in light of recent events, Barcraft TV actually decided to privatize and hide their original video about this in shame, probably because they were romanticizing and promoting a strange and unstable living situation that eventually went terribly wrong just a few months later. You see, recently one of the boyfriends from that poly family well, they were arrested for mistreating the baby that sparked this whole story in the first place. So, yeah, that sucks. And it also makes sense that that YouTube channel who originally promoted this couple and brought this story to the forefront of the world, well, now Barcraft are backing away and pretending this never happened. No apology or statement or anything. Just deleted the video and moved on. So, with all that said, today we're going to get into more details about this situation and talk about why that boyfriend got arrested and the ramifications of it and how this affects their pro-poly movement and everything else. All of that will be discussed today and more, but first, let's check out our loyal sponsors for a minute. In the year 2020, it's so important to keep your body healthy, especially with everything going on in the world today. And I'm here to tell you that collagen may be the closest thing we will ever get to a real fountain of youth-like material. The older you are, in fact, the more likely it's caught your attention and for good reason. Many health experts now agree that consuming collagen is as crucial as it gets to renew and revitalize how you look and feel. So if you want a healthy, safe, effective option to keep your body in good shape, visit my page at Health with nobs.com and purchase the only collagen on the market that I personally trust. That's healthwithnobs.com. Great, now let's get into today's news story. For more details, let's turn to an article called Polyamorous Man Lauded by Progressive Media Charged with Violent Abuse of Five-Week-Old Baby. Yikes, this is not a good look, certainly. Of course, causing harm to babies is the first and worst thing here, but there's also other issues at play that could be considered more sinister. I mean, we wouldn't even have known or cared about this strange family had they not been promoted and propped up by leftists in the media. And it wasn't just Barcroft slash Truly who was doing this. They were just the ones who kicked off the story and provided a short documentary-style video of the Polly family, which got shared by countless others, including yours truly. But we shared it to debunk it and talk bad and how it's not a good idea. The rest of the press talking about this, though, they are fake news peddlers on Twitter, and they all latched onto this story because they thought it had legs, and they thought it was a good look for them. When liberals see chances to promote their odd and degenerate lifestyles, they always take it. Because in addition to being starkly against tradition, American values, and Christian influences, well, the left also wants to destabilize our population and make us less secure and more vulnerable and weaker and more dependent on them. That's why they're coming after monogamous one-on-one -on -one relationships. And I know this might start to sound a little tinfoil hatty, but it's certainly true, at least somewhat. Why else would the media be promoting and supporting any other kind of relationship except straight, committed, monogamous ones? The left always loves the gays and they support all kinds of alphabet types of relationships too. And they also promote promiscuity and sometimes even they encourage people to cheat on their spouses. Like that time last Christmas when they said couples should let their partners cheat as a gift to them. We covered that as well and that was a very similar kind of story. And sure they may think we don't see any issues here but there's of course the whole thing where they're trying to sabotage healthy relationships and they're meddling and encouraging people to do things that will cause regret and disdain within couples that will inevitably lead to them breaking up. So really when you think about it all fully that's the bigger and darker picture here.
here. The liberals and the media propped up this modern family, as they'd put it, and now they've been proven wrong for doing so. As things have turned out very badly, as we're about to see. So now, finally, let's read on into this story and see what those horrible details are. A five-week-old baby was hospitalized in Florida recently after she was violently abused by one of her four fathers, Ethan Balkum. Police were alerted to the abuse by hospital staff who called officers in to investigate after the baby was found to have severe injuries to her lungs and ribs as well as multiple brain bleeds. The child comes from a home with one mother and four fathers who are conducting a polyamorous relationship. Balkum had been tasked with babysitting. When questioned, he told police that it was due to the difficulty he had sleeping while looking after the child that led him to harm her. Jesus. Let's just take a moment to reflect first while we consider how crazy and tragic this really is. Luckily, things turned out okay, all things considered. Nothing fatal happened, but gosh, you gotta feel sorry for that poor innocent baby who's only five weeks old. And they were born into this awful living situation with no choice. That's the real greater issue with this family here specifically. They're conducting a five-way relationship that many had warned them about, saying it might not work. As for why, well, for starters, it would take some really mature, well-balanced, and grounded and humble individuals to actually pull this kind of thing off realistically. But that's where the main problem here lies. Anyone with that kind of good basis in their life, they would never want to be in a five-way relationship to start with. So although it may be possible to work in theory, the truth is only certain types of people would be drawn to this in the first place, let alone would they attempt to actually pull it off. Poly relationships can attract a large variety of bad characters, and in this case, it's a bunch of fairly young immature boys who have no other choice but to share a girlfriend in order to get laid once in a while. And on the girl's end, she's got a number of simp-like beta males trying to vie for her attention, so she's become greedy and just kept adding new boyfriends over and over. And neither of these sides are obviously mature enough to handle things, let alone could they make it work while raising a kid. That's where things get really complicated too, because not only does a five-way couple already have strange dynamics that can cause tension if not handled exactly right, but also also, throwing a baby to raise into the mix makes things infinitely more complicated. Not trying to say I told you so or anything, but many could have seen these problems coming from a mile away. I mean, first of all, I don't think the guy who got arrested was the actual biological father of the kid. Not to say adoptive or stepfathers can't care for their kids like their own, but in this case, it wasn't like this guy went out and applied for an official adoption. No, his girlfriend got pregnant from one of her many boyfriends. And then this guy was the one who got stuck babysitting another dude's kid, a kid which ended up annoying him and keeping him up so much, he eventually snapped. This, of course, is not a justification for doing that in any way, but you gotta ask yourself, would this guy or anyone do that kind of harm if it were their own child? Or would a properly vetted and prepared adoptive parent or stepfather do that either? Because I don't think so. Not a chance. But in this case, we got some young 20-something who got stuck with babysitting his girlfriend's kid, who she had with another boyfriend. So, yeah, I could see why there wasn't much allegiance from this guy going to the baby here. Not that I or any sane person would ever go this far, but again, people like us aren't the types that would get involved in some kind of creepy five-way. Upon investigation, it was determined that the child was attacked on three separate occasions. Tori Ajeda, the child's mother, had reported her partner previously to the Florida Department of Children and Families, saying that Bauckham told her he had squeezed the baby. In late 2019, the world was introduced to Ajeda and her four partners. They lived together in Jacksonville, Florida, where they took turns swapping in and out every night. Each of the men considered her hub of their relationship, and each of the men were spokes. Four guys sharing one girl. What on earth could ever go wrong there? Oh yeah, pretty much everything, including possibly permanently damaging this poor and innocent child of theirs. And also this whole hub and spokes analogy thing they're going with. Well, it's not nearly as romantic and appropriate as they think. A hub with spokes sounds too technical for this, and it's too logical and it paints this relationship like it could actually be fair and even and make sense. Really, I would compare this to something that's more abstract and messy and very complicated, like say, what if this girl, for example, was a hyena out on a field in Africa, and the four boyfriends are like a pack of lions fighting over who gets to eat the hyena first, and who gets to eat more, and sometimes things are more chaotic in that kind of situation, like how they are with a real poly relationship. Things will never get split up fairly for starters. Even if you try your best, someone will always get more more meat while another will complain about going last all the time. All four lines might eat at different parts of the hyena while eating at the same time, or they could take turns as well. But either way, it's messy and never fair, and there's always tension and awkwardness, and it comes down to arguing and fighting for your
your place at the food trough, so to speak. Now, that's not the best analogy I've ever come up with, but I think it's pretty good. And certainly, it's a hell of a lot more accurate and representative of the dicey nature of this kind of five-way relationship. The whole hub and spokes thing is far too cut and dry and functional and easy to process. Really, relationships are way more messy than that, even one-on-one relationships. But forget about it if it's five people. That gets complicated and things get more complex each person you add to the group. That's why two-person coupling has always been better and preferred throughout history. And it's got a proven track record crossing through generations, thousands and thousands of years. And that's because one-on-one relationships can and often do work. Because in those cases, you just have two people focusing on each other. But once you add just even one more person to the mix, things get exponentially more complicated. And adding more and more people after that, well, forget about it. It's a recipe for disaster, as this new story has shown us. Now we have proof and concrete evidence of how this five-way stuff doesn't work. When the men were asked how often they experienced jealousy in the relationship, the collective answer was a lot of the time. Ojeda and the men spoke in December about the prospect of raising, adding a sixth person to their five-person family. We're all raising the baby together, so everyone's dad, she said. We're all very, very excited to be raising a baby together. They even joked about the prospect of endless go-ask-your-dad loops that the child might find herself in. Ojeda's mother was horrified to hear about her granddaughter's broken leg, arm, and skull fractures. In reports to police, Balcom admitted injuring the infant and to hearing a pop while he did so. Balcom is now in jail and the child is expected to make a full recovery. Well, thank God for that. And of course, this kind of relationship is going to spur jealousy and tension and bad things. This is the kind of toxicity of a five-way poly family that we've been warning everyone about since the beginning of this. When this story first broke and when other liberals in the mainstream media pushed this nonsense before. In fact, they are still pushing this degenerate and weird relationship stuff right now, this very month. For example, here's another new article from the press showing how they're still poly pushing to this day. This article is from about two weeks ago, and it's a report that gives a glowing and perfect representation of this new three-way couple too. And it's almost like the article is promoting the idea of it, because they effectively are. And that's all well and dandy. Stupid reporters can write and push whatever they want, but I do think they should be at least a little bit more fair and acknowledge some of the downsides and trappings of this kind of relationship. There's always going to inevitably be jealousy, tension, unfairness, resentment, and other things you're going to have to deal with, which can result in very bad things blowing up in their faces, like what happened with this five-way family from Florida. What do you guys think? Are you shocked or surprised this story happened? Do you think the news and press should be pushing this kind of alternative lifestyle? And why do you think they're promoting this stuff specifically? Comment your thoughts on everything below, and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.